So we're going to continue our work from last week with conjunctions, and we're talking about subordinating conjunctions today. And a subordinating conjunction connects two thoughts to make one sentence, a complex sentence. And what I always say is, which part of the sentence is not its a sentence on its own? So which one could not stand on its own? And then look for the word that it begins with. In our example sentence here, it says, because a storm was coming, we went home early. So if you were to break that up into two parts, you have because a storm was coming and you have we went home early. So what part cannot stand on its own? Well, when you read this, because a storm was coming isn't a complete sentence on its own. We went home early could be a complete sentence on its own. So the subordinating conjunction is going to begin the be the beginning phrase of the piece that cannot stand on its own. So because a storm was coming, the word because is your subordinating conjunction in that sentence. Some examples of subordinating conjunctions are if, because, when, while, and although. Those aren't the only ones, but there's some examples. In our activity today, it says circle the subordinating conjunction in each sentence. We'll go ahead and look at number one together. Although it was cloudy, we decided to go for a drive. Well, you have although it was cloudy, and you have we decided to go for a drive. Well, although it was cloudy, isn't a complete sentence on its own. We decided to go for a drive is a complete sentence on its own. So we know we go to the part that's not a complete sentence on its own. Although it was cloudy. And then we choose the first piece of that, which is the word although. And you can go ahead and circle the word although. It is your subordinating conjunction. We'll go ahead and look at number two together as well. We wanted to go to the beach since the weather was still warm. Well, we wanted to go to the beach is one half of our, or one piece of our sentence. And the other one is since the weather was warm. Well, we wanted to go to the beach is a complete sentence on its own. Since the weather was, war was still warm is not a complete sentence on its own. So we're going to go to that chunk where it says since the weather was still warm. And we're going to choose the first word in that which is the word since, and since is your subordinating conjunction in that sentence. I'm going to have you go ahead and work on three through five on your own, or three through six on your own. And then the activity says write a sentence explaining what subordinating conjunctions do. And if you go right up here to the top, you're going to have a really good hint at what subordinating conjunctions do. You can go ahead and pause this video and complete this page, and then we'll move on to the next page. Dependent and independent clauses. As we just talked about, we're continuing work with complex sentences, and complex sentences have two parts, a dependent and an independent clause. And the dependent clause means that it's dependent on the subordinating conjunction. So that's the piece that's not a complete sentence on its own. It's the piece that includes the subordinating conjunction. So the dependent clause is the piece that has the subordinating conjunction. And it needs the rest of that sentence for in order for it to make sense. The independent clause is the clause or the piece of that sentence that could be a complete sentence on its own. So very similar to what we were doing, a continuation of that discussion, but just talking about the name of the two pieces of the sentence, which are dependent clause and an independent clause. Our activity, it says a circle the dependent clause and underline the independent clause in each sentence. And so when you read, you're going to look for which piece can be a complete sentence on its own and which piece is not a complete sentence on its own and needs the rest of the sentence to make sense and contains a subordinating conjunction. Number one. We boarded up the windows because a hurricane was coming. Well, we have two pieces there. We boarded up the windows, and the next piece is because a hurricane was coming. Well, we boarded up the windows is an independent clause because it can be a complete sentence on its own. And then we have the dependent clause, which is because a hurricane was coming. Without the rest of the sentence, the because a hurricane was coming is not a complete sentence on its own. So you're going to circle that part. That's the dependent clause. It's dependent on the rest of the sentence in order to make sense. Number two, after we were finished, we went to the store for supplies. So we have after we were finished, 
And the next part is, we went to the store for supplies. Well, we went to the store for supplies is a complete sentence. So that's your independent clause. It can stand on its own. It can independently stand on its own. We went to the store for supplies. After we were finished is not a complete sentence on its own. And so after we were finished is going to be your dependent clause, and you're going to circle that. I'm going to have you work on the last four on your own. Once you complete your activities today, please make sure you take a picture, attach it to the assignment, assignment upload it in Teams, and turn it in. Thank you.